It felt strange dealing with any of this without a lining of scotch on the stomach. This would have to do. Come on. Let's get the hell away from here. Go on. It's okay. I'm right behind you. Aventuras do Captain Baseball Bat Boy Episódio 204 Nosso herói idoso encontrou o esconderijo do Saci Onde ele mantém sua namorada, Bicycle Helmet Girl, como refém Yes! Ela não é minha namorada Me ajuda, me ajuda! Me ajuda, Captain Baseball Bat Boy Mesmo sendo um velho rabugento que ainda usa roupa de jovem Mas quase ele não consegue levantar o taco quando de repente ele tem uma ideia brilhante. Eu tô velho demais pra usar esse taco. Tá na hora de trocar por algo que o velho usaria. O Captain Baseball Bad Boy sacou o seu melhor taco de golfe. Acorda! Acorda! <risos> Assista ao próximo episódio para ver as incríveis aventuras do Captain Baseball Bad Boy! With little hope that things will improve in the next 18 months. A report by human rights organizations documents evidence that up to 200 residents have gone missing from Sao Paulo's low-income neighborhoods in the past three months. An issue which they say is being ignored by both police and city officials. More Latin American news after this. Hotel Mona. An unforgettable place to stay. I must be losing it. Temos escutado no estádio. Ninguém sabia que ele ia ser um problema tão grande. Eu disse que a gente devia ter matado ele no estádio, né? Agora. Ei, 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 ei
day had started with us hiding in filth and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Should we wait here for passos? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in.
stay there. It's gonna be okay. She was Victor's political nemesis and, in all probability, Sao Paulo's next mayor. Even the Broncos couldn't afford that many votes. Shot anybody? No. Well, it's drive or shoot, sister. And right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word. I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. <laughs> Get up to the roof of this building and get the passes. Tell them to wait for me. Now go. Jump. Go.
was just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. Why Max? Get in, quick! I can't believe that bastard just flew off on me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I know. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay. Let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things had got real heavy. Not good, bad, real bad, but good because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey. Yeah. I love a woman. She's with another and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe?
¡Hay nadie aquí! ¡Esta también está vacía! ¡Encontré a uno de ellos! I'd be asking for trouble. Dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. Making any space my own. Booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel.
The room belonged to Passos, my partner in crime. Or maybe someone else's. The bow was well appointed. the radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. sucking oxygen from the room. I didn't care if I got shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed.
poco de cobertura! ¡Sí, pendejo! So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. Daphne's ship was always stocked. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. They didn't help with my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good.
Miguel, venid para acá. There was something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? I was on a ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. The pirates wouldn't get everything.
and the band played on. Booze, coke, pills, you could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel. Daphne's ship was always stocked. Maybe there was something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcelo. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it, it didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Nah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. I didn't realize you knew your way around here. They were using that building to get across the canal.
Yeah,